Hey guys, what's up? This is Dingo Crikey here with another commentary video. This time I'm going to be doing it on the Transformers 4 Age of Extinction toy line. If you guys are interested in more news and commentary on the Transformers 4 Age of Extinction toy line, or on Transformers 5 news, predictions, discussion, etc., please check out my playlist and channel where I also have a number of Transformers stop motion videos, some of which are previewed here. But anyways, before I get started on this one, I wanted to address the fact that I didn't get a video uploaded either Wednesday or Thursday. I usually make an upload either Wednesday night or Thursday morning, something like that. I didn't get to it this week. I'm really sorry about that. Just have had a lot of things going on. You know, between getting ready for the college semester to start, finishing up a lot of summer projects like stop motions, you know, stuff like that. And I haven't gotten to YouTube as much as I usually like to do, you know, to reply to comments, to give you guys some feedback, that kind of thing. I mean, I usually read all the comments I get, unless it doesn't get sent to my inbox or something funky happens. I usually do read them all. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I am going to get around to replying to stuff and all that. You know, I haven't forgot about it. Ideally, I would like to get onto YouTube and reply to stuff at least once every day, probably in the morning or later at night. But I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do that. I can't guarantee that every day, like I said, especially with the college semester coming up. But I'll definitely be able to get on to reply to comments at least once a week. And I'll definitely try to keep uploading commentary videos on Wednesdays or Thursdays, either one of those days, and Sundays as usual. So, you guys can stick around for that. Um, thanks for all the comments, all the support, you know, the video suggestions some of you guys have given me. Um, I haven't forgot about those. Plan to get around to doing some of them. I just wanted to say thanks, and um, I'm going to get to replying stuff and doing commentary videos more regularly. So at the very least, I'll be uploading one commentary video a week, but usually you can expect two a week, and possibly three within a week if there's like some huge Transformers news announcement or something like that. Anyways, that's it for the updates. Now on to the topic of this video, which is going to be on recently released images of some Transformers for Age of Extinction store exclusive figures. Now, some of these images are just new images of previously revealed figures, where some of them are for new figures entirely that, at least to my knowledge, have never been revealed in the past. So, let's take a look at them. So, first up, we have what I believe is going to be a big bad toy store exclusive, which is the Autobots United 5-Pack. So, this has been revealed before. Basically, it's the five main Autobots who were in the film, uh, the main line figures released for them, only with more modified colors to fit the whole Platinum Edition theme. So you have the box art there. I mean, it looks pretty cool. You know, nice box. Then you have the box open, which also looks like a nice display, how they set them up in the case. And, you know, how it is one of those boxes that flip open. You know, you don't get a lot of those nowadays, but um, they seem to be doing a few more of them with the Age of Extinction toy line. So next we have all of the characters out of the box and in robot mode. Basically they look a lot like their mainline uh, counterparts, but um, there are some differences here. You know, obviously drift sword color, uh, maybe a bit of the coloring with Bumblebee around his legs. Optimus has more paint apps, at least in these images. The color of Hound looks a little bit different. And uh, Crosshairs is the one that really stands out to me, as he has way more paint apps than the original figures. I mean, uh, even though a lot of them are just slightly repainted versions of the characters, um, I think this pack looks pretty cool. I mean, the main reason I'd want to get it is for Crosshairs, because I think this release looks a lot better than the main line release. But, um, you know, even Hound, Optimus, um, they both look pretty cool. The other two, they're okay, but, you know, if I only had the mainline releases, I could definitely live with that. Then we have them in vehicle mode, all look pretty cool. Um, next we have another Platinum Edition set, which I believe is called the Battle Breakout. Kind of like when Optimus breaks out of the barn, and, you know, they add a few other characters, and, you know, that kind of stuff. Now, I don't know if this is a Big Bad Toy Store or Amazon exclusive. I I'm really not sure about this one. 
I really hope it's just something released in the main line, so, you know, it doesn't cost as much and all that, but um, I'm really not sure. So you guys can Google that one and, you know, drop off more information on it in the comment section. Anyways, the box art for this looks really cool. Um, you know, it's nice to see how they have movie styled Optimus and um, Viacon. Along with putting a box art of Rollbar right there and with him, even though he's a Generations mold. So, that looks pretty cool. In the box, kind of a similar thing to the Autobots United pack. Nothing too great, but it's a kind of cool setup they have going on there. And then we have them all in robot mode, well, except for Rollbar. I mean, the Viacon repaint, we've seen this before, but uh, gotta mention, I'm not really crazy about the fact that he is just black and blue with no other paint apps, you know looks very similar to the original crankcase mold, but, you know, it still doesn't look too bad. Um, I'm really liking the look of the Scrapyard Optimus. I think that's what he's called. He looks really cool. Um, and then Rollbar, um, you don't see him in robot mode there, but in both modes, he looks really cool. That pack is definitely one I would like to pick up. Um, next... We have another Big Bad Toy Store exclusive, which is the long-awaited Platinum Edition 5-pack of the Dinobots. So basically, you have the four main Dinobots that were actually in the film, along with Slog, all in more movie-accurate color schemes. And I gotta say, overall, I really, really like the looks of this. Now, if a lot of that is chrome on the figures, that's kind of hard to tell. I can't really say for sure. That would be a little bit discouraging, as the way they use chrome in this line I don't think has been that well. But um, they look really good overall, even if a lot of that is chrome. I mean, Scorn looks fantastic. I love the way they kept the spine red, but, you know, gave the rest of his body more of that movie-accurate color scheme. Um... Slug looks great, um, you know, Strafe, eh, he still looks pretty cool. Grimlock, a little bit brighter than the rest of them, but he's cool. And, and Slog, despite the fact that he's the only character in this pack that wasn't actually in the film, he looks really, really good in those colors. Um, really liking the looks of this pack. Now, it might be kind of expensive because it's a big, bad Toy Store exclusive, but... You know, this is one I'd really think about getting. Um, not too many problems here. Now, if that is chrome on the figures, that's going to be a little bit discouraging. But um, still, overall, looks like they did a nice job, at least in my opinion. Looks really cool. Unfortunately, we don't get to see any of those in robot mode, so we'll move straight on to the G1 color-schemed version of Slog, which I believe is an Amazon.com exclusive. So here we have Slog in robot mode in G1 colors. You know, I've gone back and forth about the Generation 1 color schemes on these movie molds, but, um, you know, I think I really like the looks of it for this guy overall. It, it doesn't look quite as good as the Platinum Edition looks or the original mold does, but still it looks pretty nice in those colors. Um... The color placement looks well, the black and silvery white look nice together, the blue visor gives a nice contrast. The only thing I really don't like as far as their color placement choices is the yellow feet, and that looks kind of goofy. There might be a reason for it, but not sure I like the looks of that, but um, overall I like the looks of this figure. Like I said, I go back and forth on the G1 decos on these toys, mainly because, you know, the, the style of the figures just doesn't fit with the color schemes to me because they're all spiky and uh you know movie stylized ferocious looking and those color schemes weren't really made for that kind of look but um i think they're handling them pretty well from what we've seen and then we have him in beast mode where um i think the color schemes also work pretty well here um, not too much wrong to say. They did give him the yellow head. That looks a little bit weird, but it is G1 accurate, so if that's more important to you than, um, it, you know, looking totally in sync with the mold, then, you know, probably don't have a problem with that. I kind of wish they would have made the rest of the neck yellow. That would have looked cool. But, um, the chrome, you know, in the body, that looks nice. Um, yeah, it looks like a buy. I mean, I think it's going to be like $35 or something like that, at least to pre-order it, but, um... You know, looks like a pretty cool figure. Then we have him in his box. You know, looks good there too. I uh, love that box art on the side. They didn't change it at all, but hey, what can you do? 
Then, at long last but not least, we have Leader Class Optimus Prime along with the trailer. And a deluxe class figure as well. Now, I don't know the exact reason or story behind it, but this is a pack that a lot of people were assuming would contain Deluxe Class Stinger in it. Optimus Prime with the trailer, and then he comes with Deluxe Class Stinger. A lot of people thought that's what it was going to be. But, as these images reveal, it is in fact not Stinger who comes with Optimus, but it's a repaint of Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe in his G1 color scheme. So, there is a positive and a negative to this. The negative, of course, would be that we still have to wait and see if there is going to be a Deluxe Class Stinger figure. The positive is that Stinger's not just going to be a repaint of Sideswipe. When images of this were first released, I think it might have been labeled that this figure was Stinger, this repaint of Sideswipe, which would have been very disappointing because Sideswipe really doesn't look a lot like Stinger at all, and the color of red isn't even right. But um, this isn't Stinger, so that is a good thing. You know, there's still a chance he could be an original mold or repaint of Bumblebee. And we finally have a G1 styled version of Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe. Taking a look here at both figures in robot mode, the color scheme works pretty well. It looks pretty similar to Swerve from Revenge of the Fallen, but, you know, still looks like worth buying. Definitely a lot more G1 accurate to uh, Sideswipe's counterpart. Looks like they did a lot of nice paint apps too. Um, not a bland looking figure, looks really nice. And that's a pretty good mold overall, despite a few of the problems in the leg areas and that kind of stuff. It looks really cool, so that looks like the cool part of the set. The Optimus Prime, um, being the hundredth version of this mold, um, this one doesn't look that great. They really, really overdid the chrome. Nothing too unique. The sword doesn't even look any better than any of the other swords. Just, eh, not too crazy about this one in robot mode. I really don't like too many versions of this Leader Optimus. I don't currently own one. I'm waiting for the Platinum Edition that comes with Leader Grimlock, because that one looks better. But let's take a look at them both in vehicle mode. So despite the looks of Optimus Prime in robot mode, um, he looks really nice in vehicle mode, and the trailer looks nice with him. I mean, the colors blend together, the flames on the truck look nice, um, the trailer looks really cool, and I believe Sideswipe will be able to fit inside the trailer, so that's cool. Sideswipe looks like a nice figure as well. Um, yeah, overall it looks like a pretty cool set. I mean, I like Sideswipe in both modes. He looks really cool. Um, Optimus, well, he doesn't look great in robot mode, but maybe it'd be worth it for the trailer and the way he looks in truck mode, you know, just for display purposes or something like that. Overall, while I can say the set looks pretty good, gotta say in some ways it probably was a big disappointment because this was something a lot of people were thinking was going to come with Deluxe Class Stinger, which if you guys have watched my previous videos or looked at my comments, you know that I'm really, really anticipating the Stinger figure. If it's ever going to be released, I'm really, really looking forward to it. And this, along with the fact that we haven't seen another Deluxe figure for him, is really not many good signs for Stinger. But it doesn't look all that bad for Sideswipe. I mean, for one, Sideswipe's getting another figure, so that's obviously good for the character. You know, fits the G1 color scheme, looks cool. Um, you know, they're keeping him around. And this might also boost the chances of him appearing in Transformers 5. Now, that really isn't anything official. It's just all speculation. But the fact that they're keeping his character around, you know, I, I mean, I think there is still that chance that he could appear in Transformers 5, and this might raise it slightly. Anyways, that's my general thoughts on all of these figures that have been revealed. I mean, most of the stuff, it looks pretty good. There's some stuff that looks awesome. The worst it goes is to, like, meh with that Optimus, but nothing, like, horrible. So, that's my thoughts on it. Kind of disappointed that most of it is store-exclusive stuff, so it's going to be more pricey. But what can you do? If you think it's worth it, you'll probably just have to put out a little bit of extra money. 
Anyways, you guys can leave your thoughts on these figures in the comment section below. Which of them is your favorite? Do you like the way the Platinum Edition of the Dinobots turned out? Maybe you don't like the look of all the chrome on them. Maybe you're hoping they'd look a little bit darker. Maybe you don't care to have movie-accurate versions. Um, something on the other figures, the Autobot United pack. And then also the big one being Stinger. Do you think we could still get a figure of Stinger? Do you think it's good that he didn't come with this Optimus Prime trailer pack? Do you like seeing the G1 color scheme sideswipe? Anything like that, leave it in the comments section below. Along with any news on the figures or topic suggestions. I'd be interested in seeing any of that you guys have to offer. And that's all I have for this one, guys. As always, stay tuned for more Transformers 4, Age of Extinction, toy line, news, and commentary, all that kind of stuff, along with videos on Transformers 5, predictions. I've already had some suggestions on what to do in that category, so I'm going to be getting to some videos on that. And if you haven't seen my previous commentary videos, please feel free to go back and watch some of those. If you're interested, along with my Transformer stop motion videos, I have been working on more of them, and while I can't guarantee any release dates for stop motions yet, I can say that there will be more coming in the future. So that's it for this video. Have a good one, guys.